So here we are at Terrafal de Montrigo. Actually, we are at an anchorage just a couple of miles away here. Before going into town, I wanted to show the girls this place. So I made them hungry girls breakfast before going to shore. It's a deserted beach with apparently no access by foot, only by boat and it's a pretty good anchorage. I did all the rowing so I needed to cool off, it was extremely hot. The girls wanted to swim also, so we looked for a spot with sand and little waves. I inspected and found this spot with smooth sand for our feet. My swimming lessons with Wendy are paying off. Look, she's actually swimming. Mauricio is always looking for new dance moves and may be inspired by this little guy. It was scalding hot and we found some shade here. came prepared with music and vin cola as refreshment. What is vin cola? Simply cheap red wine mixed with coca cola. Sounds nasty, eh? But it's actually really tasty. We were being watched and did not go unnoticed by passing fishermen. It's kind of a novelty to have a sailing yacht anchored here. Now these are city girls and this is nothing like the streets of their busy neighborhoods. Back on a boat, everyone needed a bit of refreshing. It was still very hot. Drink some grog. <laughs> About to lift anchor. Yeah, Alex, no salute. That's why it doesn't function. Baby, I'm fishing stragobil. Yes, I had a problem with my windlass to lift the anchor. I got it up in the end. And yes, my autopilot is still acting weird. Maybe it's the heat. We were headed back to civilization. The village of Tarafal with a population of about 600 people is hardly what you'd call civilization, but it is animated nonetheless. And I know a bunch of people there. Bad luck, bad so I dropped anchor again, and we headed to town.
these three amigas strolling the streets of Tarrafal in bikinis are getting a few looks. And they like it. But anyways, it was time for a celebratory drink. Local grog, distilled from sugarcane grown in the valley here. And as I know my friends, after a couple drinks, it's time to put the music on. Locals just look on as the girls just go about their business. As night falls, guys usually come here to watch whatever sports game is turned on to the big screen. The girls somewhat obstructed the view and turned their energy up to 11. We left the men to their sports and went to visit our friend Lola. And here she is. You can drop into Lola's house anytime. It ain't like Switzerland where you need to book a dinner party weeks in advance. This song, by the way, is Cape Verde's big summer hit. It talks about a fisherman who's trying to sell his fish. As you can see, it's popular with everyone. The party is developing. We bought some drinks and word was sent out that there was a party happening on Lola's porch. These are all relatives and friends. Lola is basically the matriarch here and more than happy to also be the host. And it's Friday night. Now, whatever you may think, this is the culture here. I won't say more. water. Hello. Jesus Christ. Water is life. Water is life. Cheese. Good night. I don't know 
exactly what time we finished, because we kept going with fishermen on the beach, where I fell asleep for a while. And in the morning, well, the girls were hungry. My friend Paul, the French fisherman, stopped by and said hello. He offered us a fish, which I filleted. I put potatoes, onions and garlic in the oven with some olive oil. Let that cook about an hour and then added the fish. Wendy made rice and had the brilliant idea to top the fish off with some cream. And voila! Everyone seems satisfied, but we had to go soon. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All lady. Girls on a ferry, and me and Wendy on Galapin. A nasty storm was brewing. 